This railroad track, adjacent to a paved bike and walking trail, sit in the town of El Dorado. In the late 1800s, an unusual delivery was made to this station, one that caused quite a bit of attention as scores of locals came out to see Judge Blanchard's deer. That's right, an entire railroad car of deer. Guy Nixon explains. Here at the El Dorado train station, uh, town of El Dorado, in the 1890s, uh, something rather interesting that happened that affects even our wildlife today. You see, there weren't any deer left in this country by 1890. The uh, domestic sheep had eaten everything uh, that they could live on. So there weren't any sheep, uh, there weren't any deer here due to the sheep. They'd starved to death. And then in the 1890s, a, a fat man who had become a World War I veteran was all excited to come out here and see a deer, Judge Blanchard's deer. You see, Judge Blanchard, uh, Blanchard Road is back that way, Judge Blanchard, he had a big ranch out this way, he liked to hunt quail. So he wouldn't run sheep on his ranch because he liked to have his quail and he thought he'd like to have a few deer to look at. So some guy out of Yosemite National Park had an orchard. And in the wintertime, when the deer come down to eat some apples in that orchard, he'd close the gate and he'd sell these deer. And Judge Blanchard bought a train car full of deer. This is approximately the spot, as best I can get, that uh, all the little kids from the town of El Dorado here, they wanted to see a deer. They had never seen one. And so they all came up here, and Judge Blanchard apparently rigged some wagon so the deer couldn't get out of it, probably enclosed it in some which way. And the deer were in probably a cattle car, a train car. And the kids to see these deer being transferred from the train car into this wagon, and then he took them out to his ranch, which is Highway 49, just as you crest out and start down the Consumnes River Basin. It used to be What About Bob's? I don't know the name of the guy that's uh, the grocery store now. And he turned those deer loose. And this has had a result to this day. The deer in El Dorado, Diamond Springs, Iron Mountain, they look like the deer in Yosemite National Park. They're just different. They look a little different. The tail, this big whiter patch, and a little bit of a gap before you have the black tail. But the deer up in Georgetown, which were not annihilated due to the sheep because the Van Vlex, the Veer camps, and the Bakis had cheese camps. And in order for the cow to be fat enough to make enough milk for the cheese, well, you couldn't run the sheep because the sheep, you ran lots of sheep. You, the, a starving sheep grows wool just as good as a fat sheep. So sheep herding and cattle herding, especially dairy, did not mix. If you go down Highway 49 to McQualamy Hill, the Italians there like their cheese. So the deer in McQualamy Hill today looked like the deer in Georgetown, and the deer in Diamond Springs and El Dorado looked like the deer down in Yosemite National Park. Now you know why. <laughs>